the topic today that we are going to cover is MongoDB. Before we go through MongoDB, it is very important to first understand what do you mean by NoSQL. NoSQL is a non-relational database management system different from traditional relational database management systems in some significant ways. It is designed for distributed data stores where very large scale of data storing needs, for example, Google or Facebook, which collects terabits of data every day for their users. This type of data storing may not require fixed schema. It may need to avoid join operations and typically scale horizontal. In today's time, data is becoming easier to access and capture through third parties such as Facebook, Google Plus and others. Personal user information, social graphs, geolocation data, user generated content and machine logging data are just a few examples where the data has been increasing exponentially. To avail the above service properly, uh, it is required to process huge amount of data, which SQL databases were never designed for. The evolution of NoSQL databases is to handle these huge data properly. However, big data is the driver for NoSQL's rise, but not the only reason to use NoSQL. Many NoSQL databases are designed to run well on large clusters, which makes them more attractive for large data volumes. But often people select NoSQL due to user database interaction in their applications. Next generation databases mostly address some of the points as follows. Being non-relational, being distributed, they are also open source and they are scalable horizontally. The original intention for next generation databases has been modern web scale databases. This movement began early 2009 and is now growing rapidly. There are some more characteristics to NoSQL that we'll see in the next slide. Large data volumes. As we discussed, since the data is increasing by the day, NoSQL handles huge data volumes. The replication and distribution is scalable in NoSQL. Also, NoSQL is very useful when you need your queries to return answers quickly. Uh, some applications where there are mostly queries and there are very few updates no sql is handful there also if you want asynchronous inserts and updates or you want a schema less approach to database no sql is the way to go next characteristic is that the asset transaction properties they are not needed here instead there's something called base we will see this in in some other slides what asset and what base means also, NoSQL adheres to CAP theorem, which we'll again see in the latter part of the presentation. Also, NoSQL is completely open source development as of now. Now, let's see some differences between SQL and NoSQL. SQL databases have a predefined schema wherein we define the tables and what are the columns in, the, in those tables and what are the data type of those columns. Whereas NoSQL has no predefined schema. SQL databases have a standard definition and interface language. It's a very structured language. Uh, whereas NoSQL uh, adheres to or uh, caters to unstructured data. Also, this data can sometimes be unpredictable because consistency is not NoSQL's forte. SQL databases have a very tight consistency and the language has well-defined semantics. In NoSQL, it is used when getting an answer quickly is more important than getting a correct answer always. Also, NoSQL uses the CAP theorem and uh, NoSQL focuses more on high performance, high availability and scalability. SQL looks for higher consistency in the data.